Welcome, and thank you so much for finding your way here to take care of yourself today. I wanted to share one of my favorite, favorite breath exercises called Bee's Breath or Brahmari Pranayama, sometimes Bee Breath. If you've been in any of my classes, you've probably practiced this with me. Um, one thing I love about Bee's Breath is that you create the sound of a bee, like droning in the garden. And straight away, that's something I can visualize as one of my happy places. It is a super, super calming exercise for me um, and literally will drown out that sort of circulating loop of thoughts that I sometimes experience. It's very calming to the nervous system as well because we're prolonging the exhalation as we hum on our on our exhale sail out. And then really excited to have learned a little bit more about some of the science behind this breath. Um, when we hum, we are able to oscillate and deliver a really beneficial gas molecule that is antiviral and antimicrobial into our system. And that is an immune boosting effect that occurs. Um, so this gas molecule nitric oxide will oscillate a little more quickly when we hum and then we inhale and we're delivering that to our respiratory system. It's so cool. So lots of reasons why you might want to practice bees breath. I thought we could give it a try here today. And I want to underline that if for any reason this feels uncomfortable for you, um, sometimes I can get a little bit heated up with this practice. Um, if you feel uncomfortable in any way, you can kind of back away from it, but use yourself as a science experiment and see how it goes for you. I love the vibration of this breath. It's very grounding for me. And even working with some of the lower notes, I can feel that grounding in my body, in lower parts of my body. So you might want to play around with the note. And I just also want to tell you that you do not have to be a good singer to practice bees breath. It's whatever sound comes out. It's more of the sound that you feel inside that matters. So let's give it a try. Coming to an upright seated posture, nice tall spine, feet on the ground. And you might soften your gaze down or even close the eyes all together. Feeling your body here now in this moment and beginning to tune into your breath. Just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose or mouth as we get ready to practice our bees breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. So as we breathe in, we'll breathe in through the nose. And as we breathe out, we'll close the mouth and create that humming sound on the exhalation. Let's try 10 in a row at your own pace, breathing in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming back 
to your normal, comfortable breath, allowing the vibration to echo through your body, through your mind, noticing any effects, whether they're subtle or not so subtle, that this practice has had on your nervous system, on your mind, or thoughts, on your body. And then as you're ready, you can slowly blink the eyes open. I hope that you can take this immune-boosting, calming breath practice with you into the rest of your day and practice at any time. I like to practice bees breath for up to five minutes and play around with the tone of the note, play around with noticing where I can feel the vibration in my body, and play around with the lengths of the inhales and exhales. So those are just a few things that I'd like to leave with you today. And please, above all, let me me know how this practice went for you by typing into the comment section, whether you liked it, whether you found it useful, or it made you feel uncomfortable in any way. I'd like to hear anything at all. Thank you so much for visiting today, and thank you for your presence and your practice. <laughs>